Joker, Folia Deaf, Review. I'm also going to be doing some lateral raises. So Joker 2, you've probably seen very controversial, getting shit on everywhere, but I'm gonna be honest. I think this is a very good movie. I think this is good. I'll explain why, but I really like this movie. I can understand why people don't like this movie, but I really like this movie. This movie opened up with an awesome like Looney Tunes kind of animation and it kind of showed the end of the first Joker movie. And one thing you get early on in this movie is Joker or Arthur Fleck, he's been in Arkham prison and now he's going to face trial. And his defense is working with the case that him and the Joker are like a split personality type thing. So he's not really in control when he's the Joker and the Arthur's a different person. So the film plants this idea in you kind of early on. And then the folly of deux of it, you've got Joker and Lee that are in this joint psychosis effectively. And it's kind of giving room for all these musical scenes to happen. Heads up, this movie is a musical, at least partially a musical. I like that a lot though. I know a lot of people don't like that. I like that a lot. And I think it was done very artistically and very creatively. You've kind of got the Arkham prison, you've got the courtroom, and you've got the scenes in their psychosis or in their mental disillusions. If you want a spoiler for your review right now, I love this movie. I think it's an incredible movie. You'll see a lot of people saying this is the worst thing ever, they ruined the Joker, they ruined everything. I think these people aren't thinking. I'm not saying their opinion is wrong, okay? But I, I can understand why people dislike this movie and I'll get into it, but I do not think you can fairly call this a bad movie. I think it's a great movie. It just might not be for you, if that makes sense. So I find it a bit hard to recommend, like in a general sense. I reckon you should go see this movie. Just, if you're expecting a Batman crime boss Joker, don't watch this or don't go into it expecting that to happen. Because that's not what happens. It's not. The more I think about this movie, the better I think it is. Maybe coming out of it, like my direct reaction would have been maybe a seven, but you'll, you'll see what I give it later. But every day I go by, this thing keeps getting better and better in my head. And all the criticism I'm seeing of it, it's kind of also making it better and better. And I'll kind of explain my thought behind that, but <laughs> the big pros in this movie, in my opinion, like the cinematography was awesome. The music sequences are really great. Again, they may not be your cup of tea, but looking at it, you can't say this is a bad music sequence. The acting of Phoenix and Gaga, Easy. Very good. As good as the first. My opinion, I don't think there are a lot of cons if you take the movie like it's being presented. I can't talk about this anymore without getting into it, so I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> Spoilers, loot. I'm not gonna keep it too heavy though. So I think the main criticism of this movie is that it's following Arthur and not Joker. What I mean by that is the whole Joker mantle that was kind of put on him at the end of the first film. He didn't do that. That was kind of just placed on him by society and he's become this icon. And you see throughout this movie that he doesn't want to be that. But you've got people like Harley and the general Joker fans that are pushing him into this role, especially Harley. She uses his feelings, love and emotion to try and draw the Joker out of him. And it kind of goes back to that double personality thing. My interpretation of this is that it's a bit off of the whole time. He never was the Joker. He never identified as the Joker. I get that the movie is called Joker, but you've got to understand, you've got to make money. <laughs> I think this movie is so clever in so many different ways. I saw one take that I, the more I thought about it, the more I see it is Harley is kind of this audience stand-in because the whole time she's kind of trying to bring out the Joker, which is what a lot of the original fan base of the first movie were really wanting. They want this Joker character, this crime boss. And as soon as he says, as soon as he drops it, he's like, I'm not the Joker. There is no Joker. She fucks off. She just leaves. And that's kind of what happened with the audience. They all left. But I didn't. I loved it. I thought it was meta. I thought it was crazy. To give like a more basic plot summary, you got the prison at the start, which is where he also first meets Harley. She's kind of kind of stalked him and is giving them these illusions of grandeur. And that they're this thing and then their folly adieu starts, right? As you progress, we get into the court scenes, which is getting trialed for the murder of five people, even though it's six and he says this later. But he clearly, from the things we've seen in this movie, he regrets his actions to an extent. I don't think he regrets killing some of the people, but he doesn't like, he doesn't want to be a killer. He's killed people, but he doesn't want to be this killer crime boss. I think where a lot of people would have gotten mad. I reckon no matter what kind of viewer you are, unless you just hate music and you, or you have a really low attention span, I see the first two thirds to three quarters of the movie being very unproblematic. I think it was just great movies, great storytelling and nothing too harmful. But why I think people hate this movie is they were expecting the Joker to become the crime boss. And the first two thirds to three quarters of the movie is kind of edging uh, as to whether or not that will happen. And then it comes to this court scene where he, he fully embraces this Joker character. Harley's fully in love with him. She's been the whole time, but she's fully in love with the Joker, not Arthur. 
this point, I think some of the original audience was starting to think, oh, it's finally happening. We've waited, it's finally happening. And then not too long after, he drops it. And then even pretty much immediately after he drops it, he gets broken out of the courtroom and he's getting freed by his Joker fanatics. And I think at this point, again, it's kind of edging the viewers because they're thinking, oh, it's actually gonna happen. It's actually gonna happen. And then it returned back to like, he goes see, he sees Harley after he's broken out. She doesn't give a fuck about him anymore. He's not the Joker. And he ruined their illusion. And then he goes back to the prison and then he gets stabbed by a rando and it ends. See, when I came out of the movie at the very start, I thought that, that felt like a bit of an anticlimactic ending. But the more I think about it, it's kind of like the Joker, this mantle got way bigger than he ever was. And this rando killing him is basically the mantle. What? This is my interpretation slash what I've read and kind of what I'm thinking to myself. I thought it was so good. I was very impressed by Lady Gaga. I knew Phoenix was good because of the first movie, but Lady Gaga was very good. I could go on and on about different scenes and different parts, but this video would be an hour long. I will be happy to discuss things in the comments if anyone cares enough to comment. I will discuss with you. I will handle your gripes and whatnot, but I really think this movie is an artwork. I think it's a master mm, masterpiece. Maybe maybe in a couple more days when I stay on this trajectory of like it more each day. But this movie, director clearly had an intention and it's very artistically displayed this movie to the dismay of all those that just wanted to see a Joker crime movie. This is clearly not what this is. And it was never what the first one was meant to be in the director's eyes. I don't really care what the director's intentions are the majority of the time. But when it's so, I think this is genius what he's done with this one. I, I, I think this is a perfect sequel to the first one too. I mean, you either had the two routes, you either had the embrace crime route or back to the sad, mentally ill man who's been mistreated by society and is continuing to be done so. I think people have gotten so used to just very switch off your mind movies Shit like the last stuff I've been reviewing. But this movie, when you finally have to like use your brain, people just don't like it. This is not me calling people that don't like the movie done by the way. I came out of that movie thinking like, that I watched the same thing. I would never have imagined people giving this shit like a one star. You either like this type of movie or you don't like it. But you can't say this is a bad movie. I'm gonna keep saying this. It's not a bad movie. I had um, some other people say it was a bit slow. I mean like, it's cause everyone's getting used to these five second videos, I'm telling you. It was not, not everything is instant gratification. Like, uh, I'm a bit annoyed, honestly. I'm a bit annoyed. And I'm sure I'm gonna get some backlash for this for my, for my small but <laughs> loyal viewer base. I'm sure I'll get some like, responses saying, you're wrong, how could you think this? I don't care. You wouldn't get it. The Joker is me. I think it's the biggest hate bomb of a movie for no fucking reason, other than people being bitter and salty that the movie wasn't made for them when they thought it was gonna be made for them. My rating for Joker, Folly of Death, is... Nine Saxos. Point. Two level raises, 9.2. People are gonna hate this. I'm telling you, this movie is peak. You just gotta actually switch your mind on. Look at it. Like an artwork. Don't go in with it, with this expectation. Only to be disappointed because it's not your thing. And then because it's not your thing, you just hate it blindly. I'm telling you, watch this movie. Movie? But I understand if you just don't get it. We can't all get it. But that's me. I definitely did not do this justice. In the, in the sea of negative reviews, I wanted a positive review out there kind of quicker, so thank you very much for watching. Watch Joker Folly Do, unless you just know it's not your type of film. It's okay if you don't wanna watch it. Although I think you should.